I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw some trees for Arbor Day. I'm going to start over here on the left hand side, one finger, and I put a dot. And from that dot, I draw curve line, 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 connect. On the left hand side, I come over and I draw a curve line down, curve line, curve line up, little curve line connect. And on the right hand side, I draw a curve line down, 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 curve line, up, connect. Right here on the left, I draw a slightly curved line all the way down off the page. I come up and I draw another slightly curved line down off the page. Inside I draw some straight lines. Okay? Now we're going to do an overlap. So starting right down here on the left I put a dot and I'm going to draw a curved line, curved line, jump over Curve line, curve line, curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line, and leave it floating. Because now, over here on the far left, we're going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line, off the page. Now I can continue that overlap, curve line, curve line, connect. I come back over here on the left and I draw a straight line, slightly curved line down off the page. Inside I draw baby circles. All the way inside, jump, do this side also, baby circles. Keep going, jump over, keep going. There we go. Now, come back over here to the left and let's add another slightly curved line down off the page. Okay, this is our first overlap. Now, I come a little bit over towards the center and I draw a dot and I draw a zigzag, 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 connect. Come over to the dot, up, down, in, out, in, out, connect. One more. Zigzag, 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 connect. Come over here on the left and draw a slightly curved line down off the page. Come back up, slightly curved line down off the page. If you have room, curve line, curve line. And now we're going to add curve lines going down. Everybody's going to have a different amount because we all draw differently. Now I come right next to that one and I put another dot and I go zigzag, 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 connect. Come up, zigzag, 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 connect. And if you have room, zigzag, zigzag, up, connect. Now, draw a slightly curved line down off the page, come back up, slightly curved line down off the page. If you have room, you can add curve line up, connect, curve line up, curve line up, connect, and slightly curved lines all the way up. Okay? Now, Come all the way up in the center and put a dot. This is going to be another overlap. Curve line out, zigzag, zigzag, connect. Curve line out, zigzag, zigzag, connect. Curve line up, zigzag, zigzag, connect. Now, we're going to draw a uh, slightly 
straight line down, slightly, bam. Jump over, don't draw through your drawing. Straight line down. Now, add your curved lines all the way down. Keep going, keep going. If you have room, curve line up, connect on the right. Curve line up, connect on the left. And I think that's about it. All right, now we're gonna come over to the far right hand side and put a dot. And we're going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, over. Come up to the top. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come right here on the left and draw me the letter V. Come right next to it, mimic that, and now draw a curve line down off the page. On the left, curve line down off the page on the right. Now we're going to draw another overlap. Starting right about here, just draw a curve line up, up, off the page, come down below, curve line, off the page, and now we're going to draw slightly curve line down, off the page. In this space right here, we're going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line. Keep going, keep going, curve line, connect. Now, starting here, we're going to draw a big curve line over. One dot, two dots. Curve line, curve line. And now, curve line, curve line, curve line, all the way around the edge. Come on the left side, and if you have room, just draw another little curve line, curve line. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the easiest thing to start with is my yellow for my sun, so I'm just going to color that in real quick. And then, I always tell everybody, go through your crayons and find as many of the greens and as many of the different browns as you have and let's just use all of them. So I'm going to start right here on my redwood and I'm just going to do my regular green. Now if you don't have a lot of different color greens and browns just use the same one and color some dark with a dark green and the same color you can use with a light green. That will give you your differentiation and tone. So, start out with that, come in, I'm going to use brown for my trunk, all the way down, off the page. You guys will do, like I always say, you'll do a way better job than me. Now, for my fruit trees, I'm going to use a lighter green, go all the way around the edges of all those baby circles. And you can make a choice. Do you want this to be an apple tree, orange trees, doesn't matter, whatever color you determine will tell you what color those baby circles should be. You want to make this brown also. Here's my trunks. And this is my trunk. Now the reason why it's good to have two browns is because then you can see the difference between the redwood and my fruit trees, which I have now decided to be orange trees. So I'm going to color in all these baby circles orange. So these are my orange trees. Now I group together all these different trees together because depending on where you live pretty much determines what kind of trees you have around. Obviously I have a lighter climate so we have a lot of these. Not the redwood though. Okay. Now I do my palm trees, which are very prevalent where I live. I'm going to go ahead and color these in my light green. And I'm going to take my brown for my coconuts. That's what these are. These little curved lines are right here. Color in my coconuts. And I have a light, light brown I'm going to use for my trunks. Okay? So we've got palm trees, we have orange trees, citrus trees, and we have a redwood tree. Okay? 
Now for my trees over here on the right I used the lighter green for the front tree the overlap tree and then for my background tree I used regular green okay and I used brown again for my trunks so here's one tree trunk here's the other this is the overlap you can see parts of it then just to add some color in the background like I always do I take my blue and I just draw some straight lines for the background for my my sky you know an Arbor Day usually comes around in April I looked up some history about it and it was started in the 1870s way back then in Nebraska by J. Sterling Morton and it caught on so much that they ended up making it a national holiday okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here are my trees all colored in for Arbor Day which is a tree planting holiday and J. Sterling Morton said each generation takes the earth as trustees so plant a tree to combat climate change okay bye bye